G'day everyone, Matt Elder of Family Bricks here. In this video we're going to look at this custom mock Porsche 911 that is built exclusively from the pieces in this Lego Ford Mustang set 10265 that was released in 2019. This alternative B model was created by fan designer Ali0794 and instructions can be purchased from rebrickable.com. We will also give a quick review in terms of build experience, displayability and playability. We will also give a quick time lapse speed build so you can get a sense of how the set goes together. Is the set worth building? This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. So we're going to look how we can rebrick this Mustang 10265 set into this Porsche 911. And just so we can get a bit of an idea of scale, I've got it compared out here to a couple of the official Lego releases. You've obviously got the large orange Porsche Supercar GT3 and also the six stud wide 1974 Porsche. You wouldn't know it, but I'm not actually really a Porsche fan, although I do sometimes joke that the Porsche is becoming the new Luke's Land Speeder and that it's coming out in all sorts of different sets and sizes and mindstorms and everything you can think of. So we'll just have a quick run through of some features as you'd expect. The front opens up, then you have the doors which also open, and then also to the rear opens up to reveal the engine. If we have a look in there, you can see they've gone through and detailed out some parts of the engine and the rear lights as well. Coming around and also checking out the steering wheel. The steering wheel also turns the front wheels relatively easily. And with the way that it's constructed, the top wheel move around a little bit. But I think that's just more just to do with the way that it's built. And as for the seats themselves, they're pretty much identical builds from the ones that you have in the Mustang. I literally didn't change them at all. And let's face it, why reinvent the wheel? I'm always amazed when fan designers can take the sets that they have and then just reconfigure them into other sets without adding any additional parts. Sure, that brings some limitations around with it, but you know, this looks like what it's meant to. You've got the nice sloping bonnet with the rounded headlights, which is taking a very similar sort of design cue off the large orange Porsche. Then the sloping as you're coming back down into there and then with the rear spoiler as well, done quite well. The general build experience with this was pretty good as well for the first, I'd say three quarters. Pretty much the whole thing as you're going through and building it, it's pretty straightforward. The instructions are really clear. It's about 400 steps. It's once you start getting to the later quarter, then you start seeing a few little weird things in the instructions. Again, I appreciate these are fan designs and they don't have the full weight of a Lego team behind them and also constrained by the parts. But when building, particularly the rear section here, it seemed that there was three tan one by three pieces that wanted to be used. First thing, I could only find two that I had in my set and then also two, it didn't seem to actually go in anywhere. And something to notice with the instructions, sometimes when you're building, particularly like sections with this rear piece here, the instructions they'll have like pieces floating for a step or two before they come and put another connecting piece on top. And I get doing instructions is actually quite difficult. So it's just something to be aware if you are going through and building it, that does occur occasionally. So you need to skip forward a few steps just to have a look to see whether something is actually joining or it's kind of floating and then it's going to get joined in a couple steps later on down the line. The car is pretty solid throughout except for a little couple of sections. One section being the rear, I know it's been attached in multiple points, but it is quite weak and if you push down on this too much or get your fingers in and out under there, it will start really crumbling and falling apart. And particularly these exhaust pipes here, when you flip the car over, if you're applying any pressure to this 1x4 here, the whole thing does come away quite easily. But otherwise, the rest of it's pretty solid. As you can sort of see there, it's using that sort of Technic frame build and pretty solid throughout. The only other one is up near the front here where you got these pieces on hinges. Sometimes your fingers, if they're around there, they can also sort of pop things off pretty easily. I just generally find though, if you're grabbing it by the wheels, you don't have too many issues. And probably the easiest way to grab it is to slide your finger under the front and just lift it up to whatever you need to do. So it is more of a display model than anything else. Yeah, the other sort of weak point I've sort of noticed is when you're building these front light sections and pieces in here, they're not held together in too many places, so they can be quite flimsy. Having said that, I've been able to make a modification with just the excess pieces in the set and make it a bit stronger, and I'll just show you how that does. So if you have this front section here, it more or less just sits straight into there but there's nothing really holding it here too well. So I found a basic modification to make is to take one of these two by two black corners that you have a couple extras left over and you place that down there. 
You then also have a tile version of the two by two corner. You place that there. And then a couple of these two by one upper brackets. You just place that there. And then back to building as normal. It just helps to build this up and give it a little bit of structure. So when you put that on there, it's not floating anymore. And it doesn't affect the wheel turning at all because it was already bumping against pieces out of there. And just by having that on both sides, it just helps to give a little bit of extra strength. So when you're putting this piece back on, it's got something to really push off to make sure that you're getting a really solid, nice clutch connection in there. So overall, the build's quite nice. It'll probably take you about five hours doing it at a sort of nice pace to get it all done. It works great as a a nice display model so if you've already got this and don't want to fork out like the extra 120 pounds or 150 dollars for the next sort of official lego release then this could be a good alternative i'd consider this more of a display piece because the back section here it only gets connected in sort of like this point here and those couple of points there and as you can see this does come off relatively easy so you really need to grab it and move it from the front door. If you are grabbing it from the back, just make sure you're getting your fingers in under about eight studs so you're grabbing onto the solid Technic frame. PDF instructions are available and rebrickable for about seven pounds, eight euros or 10 American dollars, which seems to be pretty good value considering there is about 400 odd steps and most of them are pretty well clear and explained out well. I don't like to give overall scores on fan designs because it's not fair to compare what somebody's doing more or less as a bit of hobby and a bit of fun to a corporation which has the full resources and software to be able to come up with solid designs. It was a fun build to do, I'm glad that I did it. And if you have this or into Porsche, then certainly might be something worthwhile checking out. Just gonna go through now and do a quick time lapse. So here we start by breaking down the original Mustang model and building out now the Technic frame for this version of the Porsche, nice and strong, and building out the wheels to hold that in there and the spit steering mechanism another straightforward sort of mechanism and now working on the engine at the back giving some details into that and going through just reinforcing some of the side parts there now doing the the back wheels to hold that in coming along and doing the the back little section to hold on the rear tail lights and you can see the exhaust pipes there going on now starting to work our way forward in the car a little bit and doing the interiors and the seats will probably pop in here in a minute and then examining and again they were just exactly the same as the mustang ones the only thing with those seats they're only held on by a little two by one clip so again it's just something you got to be a little bit careful with gone through now put on the doors building out the front little section there and that's got a few hinge pieces to help get the curve around there uh, coming back building up now just a bit of the front wheel sections and now going to do the front wheel sort of lights and uh, wheel well so they go on and you know going to the back a bit and starting to build up the rear wheel wells finishing off some of the interior details the dashboard steering wheel mechanism now i put the wheels on uh, putting the front windscreen and going through and just tiling off to give that a nice rounded curve there a bit a bit more tiling help giving that little profile from there we place in the back rear windscreen and now just finishing off a few more little details and then starting to build up that back sort of engine cover and again just trying to figure out how that was floating in there putting that in there now i'm going to build up the rest of that little spoiler before moving on to the front build up the front bonnet and put that on put the roof on and then we can go through and also build a few little curve profiles for the front and back but i didn't particularly like them and didn't end up using them on the model at all if you've enjoyed and or gotten something out of this video, then hit that thumbs up button and or consider subscribing. Is this a set you own and do you think you'd be interested in building this? Sound off in the comments below. Or just leave the word Ali Porsche and we'll know that you've watched the whole video. What alternative models should I review next? Or if you're a fan designer and would like me to check out your builds, drop me a line at matt at mattelder.com. Here is a review of the big Lego orange Porsche. This is a review of the base Mustang set that was used to create the Porsche in this video. Otherwise, here are some alternative builds of this Mustang. Otherwise, this video may be of interest. Thanks for watching, and that's it from us here at Family Bricks. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.